Hey guys, I'm Lily. I'm from the Six Pan service, and these are some of my reflections on this whole COVID, on these whole COVID times. Um, so I remember at the start of this season, um, a lot of us were completely shook by how much our lives were changed and uprooted. Uh, for me, it was the fact I couldn't go get my ice latte and go to F45 and see my friends. That really shook me about. And I never thought of myself as dependent on these until COVID. And I never realized how much of my identity is actually found in my lifestyle. And so for so many of us, this time to slow down and where we haven't got what we usually have, it's removed many of our attachments. And it's made me think about who I am without these things. And so a verse that I've been coming back to and thinking over is Matthew chapter 3, verse 17. And this is at Jesus' baptism. And a voice from heaven said, This is my son whom I love, with whom I am well pleased. Note that this was before Jesus had performed any miracles or even died on the cross for us. Nevertheless, the father declares his love for the son. And this love is the foundation of Jesus' life that he is loved for all he is, not what he does. Soaking in God's love allowed him to surrender to God's will and live a life of genuine love and sacrifice. We see that all throughout the Gospels. And we can do the same. We are not what we do. We are not what we have. And we are not what others think. But rather, we are loved. Galatians chapter 2 verse 20 says, The life I now live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. What Paul writes of himself is true of all Christians. We are the people Jesus Christ loved and gave himself up for. We are loved. Our identity is not rooted in our busy schedules or in what we do for work, in our hobbies or our friends or what we own and wear. It is rooted in the fact that we are loved by the maker of heaven and earth. So for me, with this removal of a busy schedule and as I purely wear day PJs and the night PJs, I am free to define myself based on, based on Christ's work for me on my behalf not on my own work. I am now free from the pressures around me so I can align my goals and values according to what God wants, not what the world around me wants. I can resist the lies of materialism and temptation to put on a false identity to please my friends. So let us hear the voice. You are my beloved. In a season of COVID where we can't prove our identity, let us hear the voice and know it to be true, that you are loved. Note that the verse after Jesus' baptism says, Then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. So after Jesus had been declared loved by the Father, he was strengthened to resist the devil. And so may we receive the truth that Christ loves us. May this become our core truth so we can be strengthened to resist the temptations of this world. Your identity is not based on what you do, but what has been done for you in Christ. Our identity is not found in what we have, but the one who calls us loved. Our identity is not found in what we own and desire, but the one who has desired us at an infinite cost to himself, a relationship with you, Jesus. Jesus was secure in his identity and this shaped everything. So may we also have our identity rooted in him so that we can be free to love and surf, not, of, not from a place of crippling expectation and insecurity, but as an outpouring of God's love for us. You are loved.